Welcome back, Pokefans, to a brand new episode of Pokemon XD Geo Darkness. Last episode, we got our snag machine taken from us, and a nice man who has not been named, and I don't know why, and I just noticed it, and never noticed it as a kid until now, uh, took care of us at the SS Libra. Now we're heading over to whatever this is. It appears to be a boating. Does it have any ties to Cypher? No, I don't think it's a Team Snagum. I know, I know what it is. It is Cypher Layer, which this is a awesome building. I love this area. We've been spotted, so there's no point in hiding anymore. Who are we? We're Team Snagum. Team Snagum. Can't really say I know them. See, he doesn't know either. It's bringing tears to my eyes. Hey, we should go. We should leave this up to Gonzap. Be quiet. We finally managed to track down Cypher, haven't we? We're not just leaving now. Hey, you, you big lunk. We have business in that building. Stand aside if you don't want to get hurt. Lunk. You're calling the dashing and terrific Mr. Zook a lunk? How dare you? Urgh. You're not getting away with this. So we get to see them battle. Team Snagum Biden. More like to battle. Like Joe, Joe Biden? That's, that's weird. Team Snagum Biden side out Oddish. And I don't think Team Snagum has any shadow Pokemon, which is kind of weird. In my opinion, because in the past they were just like filled with shadow Pokemon. Oh, and just like that, it's already over. Team Snagum Biden lost to Thug Zook. I got the short end of that one. Gua, darn it. See what I say? We, If we would have just waited for Gonzap, this wouldn't have happened. Waken must have reached the hideout by now and given that snipe machine to Gonzap. Hey, you want... Oh, sorry. Hey, you want more of where that came from? Erg. We'll pull back and regroup. Let's get back to the hideout. You're not running off with them. You've got guts, but huh? Wait a second. You're that Brett who was at Getty Import. What are you doing here? You're nothing but bad news. Ever since I saw you, I've had nothing but the worst luck. First at Getty Import, some guy challenged me to a battle out of the blue and promptly stomped me flat. The Gorgon gave me one major dressing down for showing off Shadow Pokemon without permission. Because of that, he made me stand guard here as punishment. There's one thing I can't figure out, though. How did Gorgon ever find out about me anyway? Gah. Remembering that is getting me riled. This time I'll flatten you. Keep that in mind how Gorgon found out about Thug Zook used showing off Shadow Pokemon. Thug Zook sent out Zangoose and Dudo. Alright, let's go Jolteon and Carvana. Zangoose is a Generation 3 normal type Pokemon. Uh, once purified, they will learn the four moves Brick Break, Refresh, Counter, and Crush Claw. Zangoose um, is kind of like Surviper. They've had a rivalry for a very long time, and the thing that sucks is that I can't even capture it. So, yeah, just Shockwave on it. Um, yeah, Zangoose, cool Pokemon. Um, really cool backstory with Surviper, not ever getting along. It's a normal type Pokemon, and it's there are better normal type Pokemons that have like better defense, like for example Snorlax, or yeah, Snorlax. Uh, I don't know, normal type Pokemon. I don't really use them on my team, so Zangus is not joining the team. But it's pretty pretty cool Pokemon overall. Of course, it's never no Pokemon ever going to hit itself in confusion. Besides your Pokemon. And they are just wailing away at Jolteon. Same thing, Shockwave. I don't think Zangus sh should be running off, but don't quote me on that. Since I don't have the Snag Machine, I can't snag it away, unfortunately. So, Thugzook sent out Carvana. Oh, this, is, this is weird, this is awkward. Dudo is out. Thug Zook sounds so he has both, so Viper and Sangoose, but it's just Zangoose who's uh, Shadow Pokemon. 
That's kind of weird, in my opinion. Should be both. Should be Shadow Pokemon. So. Dude, how many Pokemon you got? Holy cow. I know that he had Relicanth, but like... Wow. Just because Relicanth is super difficult to get in Pokemon games. Yep, of course, you're going to go for Jolteon. That's fine, I'll send out CeeLo, do some damage. Ice Beam on Relicanth then. And then, do we? We should have Revive. If not, they don't sell them in stores or until now. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, crunch on. I just will go for Relicanth then. Since its movesets are pretty wide out. In my opinion. That'd be nice if it got frozen, but it's not going to. Oh, dude, I spoke way too soon. That's beautiful. Good. It's frozen. So let's just head right for a Viper then. Oh my god, Celo, you get... Uh, oh, what? Are you serious? Get out of here with that garbage, dude. Are you kidding me? Get out of here with that garbage. That was... No, that's some garbage right there. Oh, it's frozen. Oh, not anymore. No, we're going right for Relicanth. Like, what the heck, dude? Like, that was... That's garbage. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Someone explain that to me, how he already got defrosted. Welcome to Pokemon games where the trainers would never be paralyzed, confused, or frozen. And Celo fainted. Great. Excellent. What kind of garbage was that, dude? Get out of here. Oh my gosh. Uh, Vulpix, because I want to start trying to level up some Pokemon here. Heat Wave, uh, Crunch on Relicanth, since Carvana's the fastest out of the four. Alright, sweet. Relicanth is out. Um, no, Heat Wave will not be a one hit KO. It's going to take a couple of tries, but. I would say that did a lot of damage for against Carvana, but okay. Survivor Faints it. Nice. By the way, I just want to let this sink in a little bit. We are halfway through the story. And Pokemon are still around level 20s. Let that sink in a little bit. But this can't be happening. I don't think Zangus ran off. I think he kept Zangus. You're just some kid. How could I, the Mighty Zook, get beat by just some kid? Because you fluked out. You only won because you got lucky. That's got to be the answer. I won't battle you again if you win by a fluke again. But my, that my reputation will be taking a beating. Yeah, we can't even, so we can't even get past, so. This is sec of ONBS, Michael. Something's come up. Your help is urgently needed. Please come see me at ONBS in Power Town as soon as possible. Alright, let's head over to ONBS then. Okay, I lied. We're headed here because the spot monitor picked up. Oh, is that the Pokemon from the ship? Walk up slowly on it. Don't run at it. Almost there. Oh my gosh. Oh hey, cool. It's walking up back to us. Captured Bonsley. Let's return to its owner. Oh dude, I lucked out completely because we had to come here anyway. 
Yo, Michael, it just figures it would take you to find that lost Bonsley. But we collected data using ONBS's resources, but we couldn't find a trace of it. We sincerely appreciate what you've done for us. My granddaughter and Bonsley are overjoyed seeing for yourself. Yay, thank you, I believed in you. b b, -b bonsley This is something that stands for our gratitude. Please accept it. Michael obtained the Bonsley card. It's a special battle bingo card. You see, you can use it for battle bingo games in the rail game tower. It's an event that's not open to everyone. Oh no, the receptionist will know what to do if you flash that card at the registration counter. I'm sure you'll enjoy battling with Bonsley. Thank you again. We must be leaving now. Sweet. So that fetch quest is completed. Michael, we made the right decision asking for your help. I'm amazed though. That Pokemon really was something we'd never seen before. The world is still a vast mystery. Bonsley, huh? That was the first time I've seen it. I guess there must be other Pokemon waiting to be discovered. Anyway, did you see how happy those folks were? The old gent, the little girl, and Bonsley? Seeing them, it brought a lump to my throat. Thanks for finding that Pokemon. Alright, who needed me here? I'm sorry. Someone needed me. and No, no it wasn't... If it's not Net, it's Sec. Alright, let's go. Where is Sec at? I thought he would be up here. Forget, Sec has, has his own office. Michael, I'm glad you're here. I've been waiting for you. Huh? What happened to your left arm? Were you wearing the sign machine on it? I can explain what had happened. I see. It was Team Snagum's doing. It's not surprising that they wanted your snag machine. Up to five years ago, Team Snagum was in a partnership with Cypher. But when they lost their snag machine, Cypher gave them up as a lost cause. I thought Team Snagum just folded after that. They must have spotted your snag machine somewhere. Oh my. I'll start investigating Team Snagum right away. I'll let you know as soon as we discover anything. Oh right, I could... Forgotten completely about this email message I've received. You see, ONBS got contacted by someone who claimed to have fled from Cypher's base. We debated sending out a news team immediately, but there's no guarantee that it won't be a trap or, or another risky situation. I hate to impose, but could you go and investigate for us, Michael? Sure. Thank you. We know that you can be entrusted with this, Michael. The man who contacted us is named Hordell. He said he'll be at the outskirts stand. The outskirts stand is to the east of Phoenix City. You can't miss it. Oh, nostalgia, the memories. We're depending on you. We'll investigate Team Snagum while you're gone. In the next episode of Pokemon XC Gate of Darkness, we are going to head over to the outskirts stand to see the report. Until then, see you guys in the next episode of Pokemon XC Gate of Darkness.